Pizza Sunrise, we have Chef Amir Mayu of Cater Art. <laughs> Yay, I know. So we're going to make a delicious um, tri-tip salad with some roasted beets mm -hmm. and I don't know, what do we do first? Yeah. Okay, so this is a, a easy summer uh, salad dish that is going to be filling and can be served to anyone. Okay. Um, Unless you're vegetarian or something. Yeah, I, I <laughs> was doing, trying to be <laughs> vegan for a little while. Sorry, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our base. Our base is going to be just uh, mixed greens. There's okay. some arugula, mixed greens, leafy greens, different nice different bunch. Fresh. You can use something else if you like, spinach something spinach or, or romaine or anything. Okay. I like to use the mixed greens. Wonderful. So this is going to be our base. So, Jordan, we're going to start with our uh, vinaigrette. All right. So I'm going to have you help me. Cool. So. We want to start with the basics. So what we're going to do is we want to bind all the different oils and vinegars together. So we're going to start off with uh, whole grain Dijon mustard. That's going to be our base for this Just dressing. In. Just dump it in there. Okay. Now you're going to take some of that uh, balsamic vinegar right. and just dump it right in there. Okay. And then some of that honey. I'm going to get prepared to do my slicing. It will take a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the honey. Ooh, there you go. A little more. So are we trying to get a balance of salt, sweet? Yes, yes. So that that should be good. Right. Yeah. So you're gonna get the sweetness, the the acid, uh, the Dijon, and it's gonna bind everything. Okay. Okay. So now you want to whisk it a little bit, right. so that everything just combines. And how many people will this salad serve? Well, pr right now we're gonna prepare it for one person. Okay. Okay, so this will be for one person. Me. Um, <laughs> yeah, for you. I'll let you. Smells I'll delicious. share. <laughs> okay, nice perfect. Job. That's perfect. Now, this comes for the little tricky part. So if you can set it down on the table. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this oil, this olive oil, gradually and just whisk it as I'm going. Okay. So. I love watching these guys put this together. This is great. So keep whisking, with dressing. Keep whisking, you can go a little faster. Yeah. So it's got a very distinct smell. Keep going, what keep whisking. Very delicious. Is this is uh, olive oil. Okay. I like using olive oils for my uh, salad dressings. Um, it's uh, it's good for sa for uh, dressings. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whisk faster, faster. There you go. Come on. There Come you on, go. Faster, faster, faster. There you go. There you go. Imagine you're on a date <laughs> and trying to impress. <laughs> okay. Are you racing <laughs> down the street? Don't impress too much. <laughs> all right. A little more. Finish that a little bit. And all the girls are going, oh, look at that. There you go. Dressing. Ladies like a man that knows how to cook. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now, I'm just going to add a little pinch of salt and pepper in there. Right. And that's a small pinch. I've seen some people yeah. grab Pour it in. Right. a yeah. huge pinch. That's, that's going to be your, your dressing. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So now. How much do you think that was? Like about a quarter of a cup of oil? Um, so what we had was about, I would say, ta uh, you will probably want to use two tablespoons of balsamic, about a tablespoon of honey, um, a teaspoon of Dijon, and you, uh, usually you want to go three to one ratio with the acid. Oh, okay. So we used about two tablespoons, you want to use about six tablespoons. And if you want it a little more acidic, uh, if you want it more acidic, you can use oh, yeah. two to one ratio. Okay. Okay, so that that'll be that. Right. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in our other ingredients that go in the salad. Okay. So we have just some sliced cherry tomatoes. We're going to dump that in there. Uh, we have roasted beets. Um, this, you can just buy a beet from any grocery store, wrap it in aluminum foil. Uh, beforehand, you want to maybe season a little bit of salt and olive oil. Wrap it, throw it in the oven about 400 degrees, check it until it's pork tender. Okay. Once you take it out, the, 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 the skin should just peel right off. Really? So I'm yeah. always afraid to work with beets because they're so messy. And the, the they are messy. They have color in yes. them. But yes. But the skin just falls off the like that. The skin will fall it. off. You can use a napkin to kind of take it off. Huh. Wash your hands uh, uh, instantly you know, so that it doesn't uh, stain your fingers. Um, and that's it. And let it just cool down completely, dice okay. it up. So we're going to throw this in there as well. And tell us more about your catering business, yes. too. Um, so, yeah, Cater Art, uh, we're based in Pasadena. Uh, we focus on French and Mediterranean cuisine. So um, uh, I studied at Le Cordon Bleu in Pasadena. I really grasped to the French culinary techniques mm -hmm. and the cuisine. 
um, but I also grew up with a Mediterranean background. So that's what we focus on, and we uh, do events for corporate events, uh, fundraising events. Um, we do private dinners as well. Now, what separates these foods from other countries' foods? What drew you to these? these I like I like cooking with the wine and the cream and the butter, and there was complexity, and there's so many. It's almost like a, a old world flavors mm, that you don't yeah. really get today. You know, and a lot of sauces that you actually eat, they um, transpired from these basic old world sauces. Wow. Yeah. Didn't know that. So here we you have. You, you kind of, what are you, segment? Is yes, you segment, okay, exactly. So all the little skin From is the off. orange. That's a lot of work. Is there oh. a trick to that too? Or? No, no trick. Okay. It it's takes time. Work. It okay. takes time, yeah. So throw, throw s some of it in there. Okay. Okay, not all of it. There you go. Save some for the garnish. So oh, we're going to okay. save just a little bit for the garnish. Now we have uh, the protein, which is going to be tri-tip. So mm -hmm. what I like to do with the tri-tip, um, I like to season it with uh, um, different herbs, paprika, salt, pepper, garlic. And I actually grilled this on, um, on, the, bar on the grill on the, bar on the barbecue. Mm -hmm. I like that oh, charred okay, flavor. Yeah, me too. Now, before you continue, let okay. me stop you. So with the tri-tip, <laughs> <laughs> with the tri-tip, we don't have that much more time, so we yeah. want to make sure. Okay. We can put so with the tri-tip, you have the grains, and you want to cut against oh, the and grain. Oh, I did. I, okay, so right. I need to cut from here. So cut just like that, exactly. Oh, okay. So you know, you just I cut some, that. cut okay. some strips for us. It's Wonder. almost like a science to. This is a sharp stuff. knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I'm gonna dump this dressing in there, just like that. And just mix it up. Can you use a mandolin or something? Did I say uh, that right? Mandolin? Um, like a, like a, a like a, what do you call Later it? Later kind of thing? I wouldn't use it for this. You can maybe use like a deli slicer do or something. Do you want this thinner than this or? You can cut it however, however first, you know, we'll plate it and then later we can <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> okay, so now we mixed it all together. I'm going to plate it really quickly and you want to create height. So you want to crunch it up really together and put oh, it in tight yeah. in the center and kind of stack it up high. It gives it a nice presentation, just like that. Okay, we'll throw some garnish on top, just like that. Mm. Wow, that looks delicious. So now, the meat's really good, too. <laughs> now, <laughs> we'll take some of these meats and these slices and just kind of place it around the plate, just like that. Wonderful. And this is nice. Um, the meat is already chilled. Mm -hmm. It's probably something you could barbecue you make if you ahead of time. Or right. You can make this ahead nice. of time, and then we'll just take some of these leftover oranges. So this salad can be sort of just a meal in itself. This is a meal. Yeah. Wow. You're going to get a, a meal from this. And there you go. <laughs> and that's it. Really good. And you can serve the meat warm or cold, or I like to serve it uh, room temperature. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Hmm. That is it for our show. Thank Very you for joining nice. us today. Mm, mm. Full mouth. <laughs> I want to thank um, Chef Amir Mail for being yes. here with thank us you. today. Thank you, thank you guys. Um, thank Cater you. Cater Art. How do they get a hold of you? I can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and our website, uh, caterart.net. Nice. We also want to thank our sponsors, EH Financial, Color Dots. We San Gabriel Valley ROP. Yeah, there you Foothill go. Foothill Transit. Uh-huh. And we want to thank... Um, our crew, I, th I think I said that already, but I want to say thank you to Sony because Sony is going back to Arizona yes. and she's been working with us in the studio this summer and she's heading out of town to go back to school. So good luck to her and hopefully she will come back during the holidays. Yes. Um, we also want to mention that we're on social media too. We we're are. On Twitter and we're also... Facebook. Yeah, there you go. You can reach out to us on info at crowncity.news.com or you can watch us on KBMD at 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday or 5 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Yes. Bright and early. Thanks Thank for you. joining us. Let's eat some of the salad. <laughs> <laughs> I do like beets. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and yeah, and I was gonna say, so with the meat, you know, you can you can cut it, you know, so it's like smaller, mm -hmm. and then cut the strips so you can get, you know, not as long pieces. I mean, it really, yeah. you know, that you can be creative with like that. A lot of versatility. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, yeah, you can, you can play with it, and you can make exactly. I mean, you can use 
uh, you know, some other ingredients. You can put uh, walnuts in there or some sort of cheese in there. Mm -hmm. This is an easy, I wanted to make something that's going to be easy, light, um, filling summer dish. Yeah, you know, it's hot, so you want to eat something, you know, you have the citrus and mm -hmm. the cherry tomatoes to give the crunch and um, the beets for the earthiness. And then the meat, you know, to Did fill you up. The, the golden meat meat too, no, I only used it. Yeah, you can use the golden ones. I only use the uh, the red. Meats. I like having the different. But yeah, color. yeah, you can definitely use that. will give it a nice color. Um, and then yeah, you can put chicken on there. Put shrimp, shrimp, oh, yeah. scallops. I mean, you can put scallops. Yeah. scallops are yeah. hard to make. I think. Yeah. Scallops? No. Yeah. No. They're scallops. Just, I think they're always frozen. Yeah, with, with, yeah, you want to buy fresh, you want to buy fresh. I don't want like to. Get them fresh? Yeah, yeah, you can even go to like browns or... Really? Yeah. I thought they were so frozen. If you buy them frozen, you want to make sure you frost them entirely and not run them under water because then they're going to soak up. You want to drain as much and then put it on a towel and let it, let it absorb the towel, absorb oh, yeah. the... You know? Because yeah. I know you put them in a pan and leave them in there for fresh. You have to be careful. They, yeah. You put them in a pan and yeah. 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 have to be Right, exactly. You get like a moist kind of just like water, not watery, but you don't get that crunch on the outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Are you still going? Okay, so I'll make some more so everybody can get to eat. I'll see if we have more plates. Yeah.